of it. I mean, really, snap out of it. And what do I mean when I'm telling you to snap out of it? What is it exactly that you're snapping out of it? We all have this happen to us from time to time. And if you, when you snap out of negativity, because you know what? Negativity comes, whether we like to admit it or not. Negativity comes. And when it comes, what are we doing? What are we focusing on? Well, it comes out of nowhere. It's a thought. And you know what? For a lot of people, you may be included and you may not be included. But for a lot of people, negativity is something that the body is used to experiencing. The body is used to the vibration of the negative thought, the negative mindset. When the body is used to having a negative outcome from whatever's going on, when your body is used to the negativity, it will crave that emotion. It will crave that energy. And therefore, your subconscious, the brain up here that we love so much, will give it to you. So think about that. When I say snap out of negativity, I mean actually snap out of it. Get it gone. It's going to show up. And when it does, immediately stop it. Because the body is too familiar with that emotion. If you're working in your business and something happens and you just suddenly get so frustrated and you get a negative thought or an I can't do that thought or why am I doing this thought or maybe you're at work. And with everything going on, you're just getting frustrated and you just don't know what to do and you're upside down and you get a negative thought. Number one, negativity often shows up when you're working on something. Negativity often shows up when you least expect it. And this could be a thought. It could be an emotion. Because let me tell you one thing. For a fact, everything I give you guys is facts, okay? But negativity is actually a vibration. It is in a vibration that triggers your emotion. So when you know that, you know what's causing it, don't you think it's easier to snap out of something that you know how to solve? It's a problem that you know how to fix like right away. When I learned that and I learned I was in control of everything in my life, I learned I was in control of my body, my mind, I was in control of everything that was happening in my world. I was in control. And when you know that you're in control of something, don't you feel that you are more in tune to be that person? Negativity is really, it is bad. You can get negativity from watching the news. Don't watch the news. You can get negativity from reading something in the paper. Don't read the paper. You can get negativity from being around certain people that are negative. If you're around people that are constantly having a negative thought, negative speech, stay away from those people because you know that's where the negativity is coming from. So stop it. That's simple, right? It's hard when it's your family. I understand. But when you're working from home and you're trying to do something and you're using the try word, the try word stops you in your tracks every time because that's giving your subconscious an out. The try word triggers your emotion of, okay, it doesn't matter if I do this or not do this because you know what? At least I tried. No, that's not what you want for your life. That's not what you want for your lifestyle. Because you know, the job you have, the income you have, is a direct reflection of the lifestyle you have. So those are things to put in mind as you are creating your world, creating your life. So, learn to stop and snap out of negativity. Create your own reality. You can create your own reality every day. You do it anyway. You are attracting and manifesting every minute of every day. The question is, what is it? Good question, right? So, negative, knowing negativity is a vibration that triggers an emotion then you know the body craves that emotion because you've given it to it so many times. So when you learn to let it go and you can stop doing that, then you're going to find that you will get more and more control over not just your body emotions and vibrations, but of your mind and of what you are attracting.
Law of Attraction is always working. It's always giving you what you want. And it's going by the vibrations and the emotions that you are putting out. So when the emotions start and you aren't on track with what you want, that's the emotion is telling you. When you start getting negative, when you start getting that emotion that your body's craving so much, that's telling you that you're not on track. That's telling you that your body is craving something that you've given it for years. Let's face it, guys. It's been years. You're giving it over and over again. So let's snap out of that and let's get on track with where it is you want to go. Start by don't watch the news. Do you know the news is so negative? They have would have to search for something good because they don't know how to. The news is full of news that's bad nothing good everything that's bad in the world they search for that and they look for that to relay the news to you you don't want to hear it make their ratings go down quit watching them quit listening to them on the radio quit listening to them on your computer quit listening to the news excuse me <coughs> sorry so don't follow society blindly number two don't follow society blindly. That is <coughs> a negative emotion. If you're following along with society, with whatever they're doing, I mean, I, I'm not going to have a specific on this because it can be whatever they're doing. If you're following along and it is not in a happy vibration, stop doing it. If you're going to follow someone in society, if you're going to follow a group in society, if you're going to follow people in general, make sure you're following the people that are happy and healthy and wealthy and people that are doing what you want to do. Make sure you're following the people with the mindset that are going to be prosperous. You want a mindset that's going to be energetic and going. and You don't want to follow the people that are just saying, they told me to do this, so I'm going to do it. You don't want to do that. Okay, so that's number two. Do not follow society. They'll get you down the rabbit hole every single time. So use your outer voice. And the, what happens is when you follow society and when you follow other people, that negativity will bring you anxiety. Anxiety is something that when your body is used to having anxiety, when your body is accustomed to having that, then it's going to be foremost and forever that it's going to keep happening over and over and over. So you have to let that, that go, okay? That's the only way to do it. So what I want you to do, and this is the cure, to get rid of negativity and to snap out of it and to get rid of the anxiety and to get your lifestyle and your actually your income right now reflects the lifestyle you have. So if you want to have a better lifestyle, you have to have a better income. It's the only way to do it. So use your outer voice. And why know your God? I'm always telling you self-talk, self-talk. You do it in your mind. You just keep talking about This I'm going to tell you is going to be a little bit different here. And it is self-talk. Verbally, out loud. I don't mean scream and holler. You can do that if you want, but it's not necessary. Self-talk is, will break the trance. It is a trance breaker because not only is the vibration of your voice interrupting the negative feeling and the negative thoughts, but you're also going to trigger your subconscious mind when you say, I'm feeling good. I'm happy. I am getting what I want. I am seeing the light, the sky is beautiful, the grass is green, whatever. Love and light surrounds me. You can come up with your own self-talk. I'm just giving you some pointers on some different things that I've said to myself. Or I've got this system down, I just have to work out the kinks here. And this is going to be so great for me as soon as I finish it. And I'm finishing it today. So, love and light. And you know what the fastest one to break the trance of a negative mind? The fastest, I mean, come on guys, listen to this. This is, this is solid gold. You guys got to hear this. The fastest way to break your own trance 
of negativity that you're snapping out of right now is laughter. When you laugh, when you are happy, I mean, it doesn't have to be a belly rolling, roll on the floor laugh, but when you're laughing, you break the trance. You break the trance of the negativity. It ha there's just no way a negative vibration can stay in a body that has a happy vibration. The two don't mix. This put oil and water. The two don't mix. They don't mesh. They don't marry together. So laughter is the trance breaker that breaks it like right away. So if you are in a negative mindset, if you're in a negative thought, a negative emotion, laughter will break the trance immediately. Stay away from the news. Stay away from negative people. Stay away from following society. Stay away from what everybody else is doing if they're not doing what you need to do. If they're doing what you need to do and you're growing your business, you're growing your income, you're growing your side hustle, whatever you're doing, just be selective on who it is you're following and what you're doing, okay? It's all up to you because this puts you in a creative mode. When you're in a creative mode, the law of attraction is right there with you. Like I said, you are manifesting every day, all day, all day long we're manifesting. You're mas manifesting what your emotions are, you're manifesting what your words are, you're manifesting your vibration. So keep in check what your words are, keep in check what your vibration is. If you're going around insulting people and saying, oh, that's so stupid, or there's crazy, that's a bad vibration for you. It's not going to hurt anybody else, it's a bad vibration for you. So I suggest you not do that one, okay? Okay, guys, I hope you got a lot of good value from this. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.